What's going on, humans? It is our Mike. So there is a comment that I resonate with here from Nemo Sleep Twenty Four. The speaking or ESR ring work with the Pixel Stand. It's just that, just these that don't. I was frustrated by that. So as for what this person is referring to is obviously this ring, ferromagnetic ring that we get with or you can get through later case to keep nice and slim. So just to prove what they are talking about, it, it all does depend on how the ring was magnetized. But obviously, since this is an iron ring, these obviously don't play well with certain wireless chargers, primarily the Pixel Stand. Now, any of my wireless chargers that I've shown off in the car, uh, once you get this ring lined up right and you have your phone hovering over, then you can drop it onto it. But trying to align this ring and use uh, magnet paper, as we can see with this ring here, it does not show. So however they magnetize this is definitely out of the ordinary. Uh, I'm guessing because it is an iron versus maybe other rings that are implanted in other cases or more of a standard, uh, maybe a standard steel ring. Not a stainless steel, but a different type of metal. And that's why these magnetize and show differently. Obviously, we can see we have kind of two rings on this and or our magnets here at the bottom. But if we try to use our magnet paper here, nothing. You can see we don't really make out anything on that. So, yeah, if you, like the person says, if we try to use a pixel stand, for example, and charge our device, it will pop up showing adaptive charging. But here in a minute, we'll probably see that our charging will go away. Shows juicing. But we should get an orange light here in a minute. And even if we do set it at a different angle, it doesn't like it. I've tried it. As we can see, it was wirelessly charging, but now we're showing orange. So it has obviously stopped. And I've had it flicker off and on like that a few times, but I don't think it is, like I said, I can use this case with wireless card chargers, no problem, and still get juice and fully juice this phone with no issue. So I want to look at a different wireless charger for the house. So the only wireless charger I've been able to find that had been pretty well decently rated to work with the 8 Pro, do some wirelessly charging earbuds, and a watch is this 3-in-1 uh, wireless charging station by Feelingta. And I will link it in the comment section below. So fast wireless charging, charge your phone, smartwatch, and earbuds all at the same time. So it's 3-in-1. The packaging overall pretty simple. Um, basic information about the output. So input is a 9-volt 2-amp or 5 volts at 3-amp uh, charging cell phone output. 10 watts, uh, 7.5 watts, and 5 watts. Charging a watch can be 2.5 watts. Charging earbuds can be a 5 watt output, and it is Qi enabled. So, uh, like I said, I will include the info on this. Let's go ahead and crack into it. And this is something I had held off on for a minute just because I want to see if any other wireless chargers came to market that seemed to do just as good. And being that I do use Pixel Bud Pros as my primary earbuds, um, they have done the best for me and they have constantly gotten updates. That is the only thing I do wish that Beats included on their earbuds was that we had wireless charging built in. Obviously that would take the price up more and it would block from what we get to see on the backside of this. But this charger should do us pretty well. It does come with a power brick. And we do have a uh, USB-C to full-size USB, which I think I will go with my um, Pixel cable. Might be better to go with their cable, especially if it is actually uh, uh, adaptive quick charge 3.0. And being that my Basius charging stand sh or charging uh, brick should be able to handle that with no problem. Obviously, here's their X badging. Let's pull this off. Yes. 
And what I like about it, yes, we can charge in multiple positions. There are a few different coil placements in this. And again, we have our mat in the back. Here is our grit at the bottom to ventilate all the heat out. And we also have grits at the backs of these as well. So for the watch and for the phone itself to allow heat to dip dissipate from the charging coil. So let's go ahead and use their included cable in the box. Uh, it's definitely pretty hefty. As for our indication if this is a higher rated cable, it doesn't look like it. Normally when I see white, this just tells me it's a basic, nothing too fancy. But it is type C in the back, so let's first try with our pixel cable that came in the box. Plug that in. Let's see what we get for signal. We have some lights, so I'm guessing we have power. Let's go ahead and drop the pixel on and see if this works. So it says yes. Face unlock. Yep, shows charging. So I'm seeing it in my icon. Adaptive charging, so that's good, and that's going. We'll see how long that keeps going. While that is happening, oh, we got an indicator. Blinking red, so it might not do well with this. It might just be because of that iron ring. If we drop our pixel buds on the backside, see if we get any indication of those charging. Yep, those light up, so they're juicing. That's not a problem. We have a second light telling us that that's going. So, just to give this a shot, let's go naked. See if we can start charging. Waiting, waiting. I will to say it did not like that. It might not like the cable too though. That is an option as well. We are just testing as we record. So let me try this, let me switch cables. Okay, so without even switching cables, still using the original cable that came with the Pixel 8 Pro, we are getting two green lights here. One showing that the watch is charging, one showing that the phone is charging, no issue. So it is something with this iron ring. It does not like it. I do want to try a different position. So let me put our phone 8 Pro back into the case. And let's try doing in landscape. See if that'll make a difference. So shows us getting juice at first. Let's see if we get a red light. Yep, there it goes. So I will say this is definitely quite unfortunate because I do like this charging stand. I'm not gonna return it, I'm gonna keep using it. But now I'm just debating, okay, do I just need to have the phone naked at night when I wanna charge at home? Or do I need to go with a bulkier case? Because as we can see, using the other case, the white stone case with the B brand skinned, no problem. And on the back, obviously you can charge a watch, but being that you see this is a four prong connection for a watch, this limits you to uh, Versa or, uh, or Fitbit watches and or the Pixel Watch 2. So that is uh, obviously, most of you know I rock the Mobvoi, but I do have a Pixel Watch 2 that has been sitting in the box since the launch of the 8 Pro because I did pick one up, got one for free included in my bundle, but I have not bothered to crack into it. So maybe it is time to wear dual watches and see if I can get health tracking on both at once on one device. But as for charging phones here and devices all at once, this stand will probably do great. But obviously, again, not a fan of these iron rings. So if you all are interested in any of this stuff, please leave me a comment below. Again, I'll include the link for the stand. This is RF Mike. I will chat with you all in the next one.